My name's Mike. You can find me at twitch.tv slash voxguys. I'm a Resident Evil speedrunner and variety streamer. We're going to get through this really quick with Beta. Hello, my name is Beta Cat, variety speedrunner. Minute. Hi. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Punk Rock Ian, retro game streamer. Tony's not here because he's at work where I have to be in about 40 minutes. And Mr. Maximus himself. Yo, charity caster, speedrunner of horror games and variety streamer and no discernible video game skills. Boom, done. Let's Indeed, go. and today we're going to be talking a little bit about engineering, <laughs> community building, and Resident Evil Remake 2, because I don't have time to argue with Max about the discernible video game skills thing again. Hey, worked out. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, we have we have some pretty good stuff to cover. Where where do we start? At the beginning is usually a really good spot, but you know, I'm, I'm always <laughs> down for the middle as well. Okay. <laughs> Those bad. pages haven't been written yet, so we'll, we'll have to get the, to them oh. in a and in a bit mm. uh, why don't we start with the thing that brought us together max what what do you think of uh resident evil remake 2 so far i thought it'd be good when we've all played it so far so i think we can well without spoilers for chat just in case um no. i i absolutely adore it i think it's a it's a great example of what a remake or a remaster well a remake and a remaster are completely different things but like what a remake yes. remake can be uh in terms of you know, in my opinion, what makes a good remake from the jump is it needs to appeal to two different fan bases, right? You got your your retro uh, nostalgia fan base, which is like me, that played the original one on like PlayStation. And me, yeah. Yeah. And then you have your like new fan base, which are used to the more modern Resident Evils, like four, five, six, seven. Um, People like Tony, who's too young to remember. I can't make fun of him. He's not here. And so I, I honestly, I honestly think this game did did an awesome job of like putting in elements that still, you know, for the people that played the original one, um, being like, "Oh shit, they kept that. That's really cool." Or and then also new players that are like, "I like the fact that there's no fixed camera angles and yeah. that you don't have to use tank controls and, and all of those things." And so I, you know, that's why I think it's it's a really good job. Of course, this does it have problems? Yeah, duh. But e every game has problems, and even um, about like that's that's basically my opinion on 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 remake is how they brought certain things back. And I think with the with the addition of the DLCs that came out yesterday, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's also going to be. I haven't had the chance to play them yet, but hopefully, I'll get the chance today. And yeah. uh, those also look look really really good. So. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Well, I mean, I've seen just, stuff from them, but I haven't played them yet. Does I mean, you don't even know what they are. Like, I, yeah. I've only played I, like I know a, who's both in A's them. for Leon and Claire so far. So I just started B for Leon last night, but I saw all the the other new stuff, and I'm like, what? What? What is all of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Ian's like an old man that doesn't like change. <laughs> the, the <laughs> one thing I, I didn't like the one thing I didn't like about remake was the pre the pre stuff. Because I feel like Capcom gave so much away, so oh. much away in trailers, Twitter posts, pr like pre giving the game out to other streamers early, of course, right. and all of those things. They just like gave out so so much information. Out. But besides that, I, yeah, as I said, I thought it was pretty good. You're dealing with a company here who's, uh, you know, been in the business for a long time, and not only that, but also purposely made stuff for like the retro guys, like. Um, including the ability to get the original soundtrack. Yeah, that was Instead great. of the new soundtrack. And if you haven't played with it yet, I'd highly suggest it because it's actually really, really good. <laughs> it makes the game oh, yeah. feel really, really awesome. So Nice. And if you need to get the uh, the retro skins, you actually have to go into this whatever storefront you use, like the Steam one, and find them mm -hmm. in the DLC because they're not automatically added. I thought they were, but they were not. So. Oh, the, the 1998 skins? Uh, yeah. Polygons yeah. for days. That's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with uh, with Remake 2. It was certainly better than I thought it was going to be. I will still argue back and forth to the death that it plays just like Revelations mm. uh, without the dodge mechanic. I heard someone say, but it plays like Resident Evil 6. And it's like, no, it doesn't. The combat is too... It's too shallow to be anything like six. <laughs> yeah, plus six is the greatest Resident Evil game of all time. So it's true. So. There is no other Resident Evil game that exists where you can bulldog a zombie as Leon into or the, slide into the down ground. a slide as Chris. That's true. Or ride <laughs> a panda as Chris for those. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> uh. But it's it's better than I thought it would be. Let's see. 
saw a guy playing last night and there were more character DLCs in the hunk and tofu mode that I didn't realize. Yeah, those came out yesterday. Ghost Survivors? Yeah. Yeah. Ghost Survivors. Yeah. And so I that actually, um, because that's kind of one of the things, again, without like too many spoilerinos, one of the things, another thing that I, I didn't care for as much in the remake is that a lot of the side characters didn't get as much screen time as I thought they would. So the one, the one for me I was surprised by was um, the mayor's daughter in but that was, that's for a totally different reason. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they, they did they did manage to change, you know, quite a bit. And I guess the other thing would be the interactions between Leon and Claire, because there wasn't many. And yeah. the ones they did have were super cringy. And the facial yeah. animations were... <laughs> oh, I actually like the facial animations in, in this. At the end, did you see Claire smile? Oh my god, no, nightmare fuel! Because... It's like watching <laughs> Rachel Ray stretched out like five hundred percent. Every time Rachel like Ray Leon and Rachel Claire Ray were interacting with each other, I swear I was watching like a Hallmark movie or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love their interaction at the gate though. Where oh, yeah. oh that like, one's the cringiest yeah. one. They're like, "How That's are you my, doing?" Oh, I don't know. How are you doing for this one? <laughs> it's like, oh, you two are so adorable together. <laughs> Oh my god. Now survive the apocalypse. I, I feel like that's a <laughs> wonderful need, moment. We need a drum rolls, audience applause, and awes. Oh. <laughs> it, it's a wonderful moment to bring in an old classic RE1 line and be like, oh, Claire, you're here. Leon, you're here too? Like, that would have been. Oh my god. That would have been perfect. So. One thing. One thing I thought was really awesome was the addition of, or the the change to Sherry and Ada's parts. Mm, yeah, that, those were pretty good. Mm-hmm. Sherry's was way better. Than they, were way, they were way, they were way more in better. depth. So, yeah. uh, and Sherry wasn't an annoying little brat the no. entire game. So, as a classic yeah. RE2 speedrunner, that means a lot to me because yeah. Sherry is the worst part of speedrunning Resident Evil 2. By yeah. far, so That's if why they, nobody runs Claire. Eh? If they if they retcon Brad Cherry, I'm perfectly fine with that. So yeah, but uh, I guess that, that's the other thing too. I don't know what's canon anymore, and that just, scares me a little bit. <laughs> There's I was an just ad playing on your VOD. <laughs> I say, oh, there is. Oh yeah. Yeah. no, Max Wado. I would say, hell oh, yeah. shock. I'm not even sponsored by Honda, but everyone in chat should go out and buy yourself a Honda today. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Secret level is not affiliated anyway. Yeah, not, not It'll affiliated. make you better at gaming. <laughs> yes. Uh, now they put ads on everything and you can't skip them at all, even if you're a Prime member. <laughs> but yeah, so so Ian's played, Vox has played, Beta, have you played the new one? Have you played the... Yeah, I beat all the, of it. The new RT. Oh, nice. How'd you, how'd you like it? I loved it. Nice. Because I also played the original when I was little, and mm-hmm. I agreed with your statement that it has a mixture of both retro and modern, so it appeals to both audiences, and you can't make everybody happy. But, oh yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, that, I mean, there's still people online that are saying, "Oh, it's not a. It, it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil." I'm like, "This is what Resident Evil feels like now." Shut up. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like every time it's... I hear that statement, it gives me a migraine. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to have nostalgia, uh, but if you let nostalgia blind you to something that's like actually good, then that's your loss. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's one of the things that, like, when I was talking to a bunch of a bunch of runners I know, and you know, just people from our from our ver- part of the speedrunning community, Max, it was like, mm-hmm. so many people. Oh my God, it's the greatest Resident Evil ever made, and it's like, take off your nostalgia goggles for five minutes, please. It's Res- it's Revelations two with the ugly, lazy, terribly designed UI for an inventory and safe box from Seven. Oh yeah, it's, but it's still a great game. Safe box, but it's an amazing <laughs> game. Yeah, it's still an excellent game. I mean, I've also been asked a lot about which one I think is better, RE2 Classic or RE2 Remake? And I think that the answer to that question is there is no answer to that question. Because yeah. although they are technically the same game by title, it's still like comparing apples to oranges. Because yeah. you have to think about the technology then versus the technology now. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. this game could not have come out in 98. No, not a there chance. is no way. It would so, have had to be two separate games. Yeah. And... Um, so the fact that they could do what they did with Classic at the time and what they can do now with the remake is is absolutely amazing. But trying to compare the two is 
is I think a little bit too too tall of a task. Yeah, there's just there's too much different between them to 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 really do anything like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I do want to speed run it. <laughs> <laughs> so. But will you submit times for it? Because I want to speed run it too, but I'm not doing it under the rules that are currently instated. Uh, the state of the speedrun boards for RE2 Remake leaves a lot to be desired. Again, it's something that gives me a migraine, but that's like a, a, a personal a, a personal attitude of the people yeah. that are running the boards, unfortunately. So uh, until yeah. it's been a it's been a problem actually with the uh, now see this is going to get me banned from the podcast forever for a hot take, but it's yeah. been it's been a problem with the modern RE community for a very very long time. And this no, does technically fall into the, the category of a modern RE now. And, yeah. uh, oh, shock, you're cute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, there's this, it, it, it's something different than the, the classic community where, for some reason, there's this weird elitist attitude to having a world record and to maintaining a world record. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it, it really doesn't. I understand there are two kinds of runners. Basically, there's the ones that strive for world record all the time, which are usually ones you see resetting about 50,000 times a stream, and the <laughs> ones that just want to have fun and, yeah. you know, just play the game. And if they do well, they do well. And if they don't, they don't. Like, it doesn't matter because this stuff doesn't affect your real life. <laughs> and that's exactly. like the one thing I can't stress <laughs> enough about speedrunning. Unless you are getting paid hundreds or millions or thousands, millions of dollars to get world <laughs> records and to be represented by companies or unless speedrunning becomes an actual esport, stop it. <laughs> stop it. So basically, unless you're carcinogen, stop mm. acting like you're carcinogen. Yeah, stop yeah. stop acting like you sit not. on a golden throne. Like it makes no sense. So I mean, I'm waiting sits for on an old desk chair. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. hell, I had a stream where I photoshopped a DX racer behind me. Okay, when oh, I sat God, in a crowd yeah. chair. So <laughs> wow. I'm just, yo, know, I'm not talking to Witch. Witch and I are friends. Oh. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I popped off an Ian stream last night. Pretty big about the the uh, re2 uh i've, I've done it ready. many many times before yeah. and i'm, just I'm, like, I'm oh. looking at the rules right now like i just it was pretty I, ugly. everybody's been talking about it and i just opened up the rules and man i did not expect to have to read a book check them in a, uh, check them again in about 15 minutes they'll change again. they'll change yeah and not only that you should check the forums uh, at the bottom of the forums yes. i think is where all of the nastiness happens so yeah check the forums for sure because that's where the real circus is that shit's i don't, I don't know this is it's just something that that gets on my nerves that so many yeah. people can take themselves so seriously with something like speedrunning a game, which again is fun, but it's a game, yeah. and it doesn't yeah. affect your real life. <laughs> like just that's, stop. Sometimes that's all uh, people have, unfortunately. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, they all need like, to be sent a video of just the guy. It's time to stop. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> stop. Get help. Yeah, get stop. Get help. <laughs> so, uh, that's true. But yeah, so I, I do still want to speedrun it, but I'll do what I do with most of the other games that I've speedrun that have had mm-hmm. relatively toxic communities. And I don't mind even calling them like Out Outlast had a really bad community for a long time. I don't know how it is now, but um, back back when it was it was pretty bad. Like there was a lot of toxic behavior in the forums and everything else. And so, you know, I was like, I really like this game. I really like speedrunning this game. I'm just not going to talk to anyone in that community because I don't have to. <laughs> uh, much. And that's, you know, that that's just is right. what it is. I think if if um, if there's anybody in the remake to running community, like in that bubble uh, that's on the that's on SRC, I'm pretty sure the only one I'd actually talk to is Orchi. And uh, that's, or that's it. Yeah. Or, yeah. So he's like yeah. the only one. He's like a nice guy. Carsey's actually a nice guy. Yeah, Speaking Carsey's of, fun nice fact, guy. he was on my uh, airplane at uh, TwitchCon two years ago. Carsey was? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, That's awesome. You know, Bach, I've, I've spoken to him in person at TwitchCon last year. Uh, yeah. Witch is starting to run RE2. Yeah. I mean, basically, everyone that's come from the classic RE community that's decided to start speedrunning RE2 Remake or the newer Resident Evils, I'm fine with because they haven't yeah. changed their attitude. Like when I first started speedrunning, 
um, and doing Resident Evil games, the the classic Resident Evil speedrunning community was absolutely amazing. Yeah, you know yeah. they they want to help you. They want you to do well. They want to like. They want to compete. They want to race. They want to do all of these things. Awesome. They want to have fun. Exactly. You go to the modern RE community, and it's just like, why the hell would I help you if you're just going to try to take my world record or something? It's like. Yeah. Who the hell cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's something. Um, I don't know if you know Abomination One Two One Two or Blake. He's I, a, I don't know him personally, but I've 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 seen the streams and I've seen the he was on the podcast. Uh, yeah, we were two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I, can't I hate that guy. Yeah, he's a terrible so, person. No, he's Just like, kidding. <laughs> we love you, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uh, he and I were were talking last night about that and how different the classic community in general is to the modern community. When you have like zero, one, two, three remake, like maybe even Survivor to a point, Dead Aim and Code Veronica, like mm-hmm. all the the old school ones, and how the mentality and community is actually a community yeah instead of like the modern ones four five six seven well nobody runs six so four five seven <laughs> a box, we two. could run six <laughs> we, we could co-op run six man you're testing my love for you aren't you <laughs> Do I'll it. think about it. Do it. <laughs> I'll think I, about it. I actually think I know someone who runs Six who used to be a part of uh, my community a long time ago until he revealed himself as a massive toxic, you know, oh. sphincter. And so the, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now I run Six, so. Jesus. Maybe. Well, <laughs> touching on communities, um, kind of a shift, I guess. I love mine. Your community is amazing. I love you. I love, I love you guys as well. Yeah, I'm just the one in general. So Max has an yeah. amazing community. Some of which are even here right now. Yeah. So some of them stop by. I see them. I see them in <laughs> chat. Saying Change. cute. Saying cute stop. things. Stop. <laughs> stop being so cute. That's what they do. <laughs> Max's so, community uh, is awesome. It has me in it. Casey, Casey that's true. Yeah, yeah, we all make mistakes. Um, I've, been my, <laughs> I've been doing my best to uh, actually stop by your streams a lot more because every time I'm in there, man, like, I it, this is going to sound like such a generic statement, but I, oh, I, I, mean, I, I mean it full hearted. I mean it full heartedly, though. Like, your streams are just actual, they're just fun. Like, Yo, it, <laughs> you know, it, <laughs> no, it, it is. Like, I, I'm just like, man, this dude's having a good time. Everybody in here is happy. Like, it's, I enjoy your streams very much. <laughs> I mean, even when we have people that come in unhappy, like trolls and everything else that, you know, they, they do what they do. We're super sassy right back to the trolls and it, it, everyone continues to laugh at, at their expense, which is which is fantastic. But uh, it's Just been, not what the troll wanted. <laughs> yeah, like it's been it's been a long time. I know you guys have talked about it in the past on different podcasts, how to build a community. Mm. You know, I've also seen like beta giving advice on Twitter um, that I've read through a couple times. And uh, you know, it's solid advice, solid advice about not getting bogged down in certain aspects and what you should be focusing on, et cetera. And community building, I think, is why Twitch exists in the first part, because yeah. like, you know, I'm, I'm a relatively, you know, I've only been on the platform for two and a half years, three years in September. And, okay. um, you know, but I, I don't consider myself old guard. Right, like old guy. I know people that were on Justin TV. That's old guy. Right. Like right. Uh, you know, and um, I, I think it, uh, people get uh, very bogged down in numbers, myself included. Ever so often, I don't look at them very often. But every when I do, I'm like, why did I look at that? That was a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, you know, I, I think it. You know, people expect the success in community building overnight, and that just does not happen. Doesn't happen. Like there's yeah. there's no way. And uh, it, it takes a long time to build a community. It takes a long time to to sit there and you know you have to you have to talk to people and you have to provide them with like an outlet for for different things because I mean I work 10, 12 hour days, you know, and then come home and, and stream. And the reason why I keep coming back and hitting that start stream button is because I have people that come by and just say hello. Just a simple hello or anything else is, is always great or a lurk. Uh, yeah. And then you you actually form you know, the equivalent of familial bonds with these people, like, you know, yeah. with, with, with your viewers, with other streamers, 
Um, and so I think building a community is like insanely important. And and there is no, I don't think there's necessarily a, a right or wrong formula to do that. You know, it's just whatever works for the people that have been around. So there's some people that are in my community that have been around since day one. And oh, yeah. that's crazy. Like, cause day one was me, to, like I programmed my bots to talk to me. Right. <laughs> I don't and think like, that's the first time we've heard that. Yeah, so like on timers, like you can set them to say ra- like you know random things on the timer, yeah. and you know just sit in there and and be like, "How are you doing today?" And be like, "I'm great, Nightbot. Thank you for asking, you beast." You know, <laughs> and, you know, some people would consider that, you know, that you're losing your mind because you're talking to yourself. But you know, it does help. And then when people come in, it's you know, a kindness goes a long way. Right. Yeah. I mean, like in, in positivity and kindness go a long way in, in, in daily life and, and on Twitch. Like if you want to build a community, just be nice. It's really not that hard. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, you know, some people are are uh, are better at it than uh, than others. I mean, like there's there's some. But, you know, there's also people that build communities on not being nice by being a complete asshole <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> and they still think- have, you know, communities that support them. So. There's one person in particular I can think of. <laughs> so, now that's not fair. Tony couldn't be here today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Poor Tony. Uh, I was thinking. So. No, I was thinking of somebody who basically just showed his ass at a what was it the last Twitch kind of thing? Oh, I was there for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy. I know yeah. his name, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> What a guy. That That's a whole guy right there. <laughs> that's a whole guy right there. <laughs> so, but yeah. Yeah. Let's but yeah, go. I think that's important. Like for everyone in chat and for everyone that's watching later on, on YouTube or a boss <laughs> and stuff, if you're trying to build a community, you know, it's all about consistency, which is something I've been lacking lately with work. But like consistency, um, you know, in coming back when you say you're going to come back for your community and being there. Um Having options to be able to talk outside of stream is great for community building. So Discord, Twitter, uh, Instagram. I am absolute garbage at Instagram. Apparently, like it, Instagram is like a job uh, that I just don't understand. I'm too old for this. Uh, <laughs> it's a job you have that you don't know how to do, but you still keep the job anyway for some yeah, reason because they won't fire you. I'm still waiting for the pictures from Inst- the Instagram people that I've oh, requested. Uh- so yeah. I don't think I'm ever. I don't think I'm ever gonna have an Instagram account. <laughs> oh, people, that's right. People are like, I, I followed your Instagram, but you don't post. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Uh, so you know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think uh, community building is super important, and I think it's slept yeah. on by a lot of people because they think it's going to be too hard to do, and it's not. It, it's really no. not. There's there's nothing really difficult about talking to people that come into your into your stream and you know trying to connect with them in some way or like in in my case with beta is a great example we didn't even meet on twitch we didn't meet on twitter we met on src it's a speedrun.com for you know those of you who don't know mm-hmm. he started running resident evil 2 and it's one of the games that i follow so i got a notification saying oh hey the beta cat posted a thread in the on the forums and i was like oh let's go check it out see what's up and he said he was a new runner and all the, you know, this, that, and the other. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. cool. Hey, welcome to the community. If you have any questions, just ask. You know, like any typical good speedrunner will do. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not a modern <laughs> runner, but. <laughs> and then out of, out of nowhere, he, uh, he popped into my stream and we just started shooting the shit and I popped into his stream. And here we are today. We run a show together with our friends. Simplest Yay. form of networking right there is literally just taking the step to say hello. Yeah, because if I had just like, ignored the notification, this wouldn't be here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and, that, and that's uh, that's like a really awesome thing. Like for me, for my community members that are here, they're going to be like, what the hell is he talking about? But uh, I have a I have a problem because obviously I've, I've never met a lot of the people that are that are that are viewers. I, I've seen them because I've seen they have pictures and everything else and I can see those. But in terms of right. like actually meeting them, I, I've gotten the chance to meet a lot of them at TwitchCon, but not mm-hmm. all of them. And so when I see someone new pop into stream, interestingly enough, my first thought for some reason as like, I think it's just because I'm old, is <laughs> this, this is a child. 
Like there's like, it's like a, a, a child is behind this this screen name, and I am so off base such a lot of the time. And so like a lot of times when I'm talking to people that are in the stream, it probably sounds like I'm, I'm being condescending because I'm talking to them as if they were a child. And you know, obviously, I'm not meant. That's not that. It's not what I'm meant to, to be. But you know, the the new attitude that I have towards networking and. Um, you know, just being nice to community and trying to build a community is I treat everyone that walks in like the lady at the coffee shop. Oh, okay. Just a Why simple comment. you questioning me? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Like, just a, simple, a, a, simple, a simple conversation. You know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people sleep on the, the fact that, you know, there's a lot of people that do stuff for you every single day that might not be going through a great time and you talk to them and you make their day. And that's the exact same way here. Like the custodian that that cleans the uh, trash cans in my office, or right. w- which are really good friends, and the lady at the coffee shop, and um, yeah, like just by treating them like your your average day to day conversation that most people don't have. If you do have it, then you realize that people are pretty freaking cool. So yeah. Mm-hmm. There's you know, a um, large portion of the time, unless they're asking me if I'm playing Fortnite or why am I not playing Fortnite, and then there. Well, then they just get sent to the gallows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that. That the uh, there's a gas station right around the corner from my house that I go to every day before work, so I'll probably be there in about I don't know 45 minutes. <laughs> and there's a there's an older lady that works there that every time I go in there, she and I talk for like five or ten minutes. Mm-hmm. And it's just because you know we started saying hi to each other and started seeing each other more regularly while while she's been working there, and then it's you know involved into this thing like we know what's going on in each other's lives, like how her grandkids are doing and how my daughter's doing, and it's it's wild, man. Just the regular day to day conversation. Yeah, y'all are family already. It's too late. Like yeah. you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you know, you can't take it back now. So nope, I'm just, I'm also noticing inadvertently that I am a really, really bad Mario player. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeez. I've, I've been watching it and there are a couple times where I've been like, oh, he made it. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Oh, and he died. <laughs> oh, he's dead again. Oh, great. I'm just so happy I don't have to play any more Mario. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nintendo, I'd like to say that Ian's opinions reflect only himself, not us. So if you want to send us all free switches and copies of Mario Odyssey, we'd be great to receive them. Oh, yeah. Do I play Mario? <laughs> only ever so often. I just, I really like platformers in general, so yeah. I'll play any kind of platformer. Well, no, I just yeah. did my Mario challenge where I beat Mario 1, 2, 3, and World. So nice. I that was an adventure. I don't need to play any more Mario for a while. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think this, no, this isn't the level. In one of the levels, someone challenged me to shell jump. And I was like, I don't know how to do that crap. And then I did it. And I was like really excited. (laughs) And then an ad happened. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys been watching Overwatch League? You guys should watch Overwatch League. There are so many new teams, including one from Atlanta, which is where I stream from. So you guys should go check them out as well as the Houston Outlaws. If you watch and link your Twitch account, of course, you can get Overwatch League tokens, which can be used in the Overwatch League store to buy your favorite skins. Unlike last year, you actually get the home and away skins of your favorite teams this year by watching the Overwatch League. Seen the ad one or too many one once too many times, have we, Max? I have no idea what that ad says. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounded like something that would have come into the ad. But I've always I've always thought ad. about uh I've always thought about becoming a commentator for something. So that that would be You should. You've got a great mm-hmm. voice for that it. That would be pretty fun. As someone with a great voice, I would know this. <laughs> yes. There you go. <laughs> that's all the uh, uh that's all the I don't know. I'll do. I mean, I I would still love to organize. I know I'm getting off topic, but I would I would still love to organize some kind of. Uh, uh, well, first of all, I would love to organize an extra life gaming tournament. That would be a lot of fun. Yes. Where the proceeds go towards extra life, and in addition, I would love to organize a because uh, they do it for Link to the Past, and they're doing mm-hmm. it now for Ocarina of Time. But I would love to organize a Resident Evil randomizer race tournament. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Which I think would be really cool. And then have it very, very simply have like two cameras of gameplay of the two people that are competing and then have people over the top that are commentating the runs. Right? Yeah. And that would be so much fun. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, I would actually have a reason to download random or actually play remake again. 
I refuse to play it at this point. I don't want to play. I don't want to speedrun it anymore. Just yeah, because of those two a, shitbox hunters. Has an uh, has an awesome comment for you, Box. Oh, I just yeah, jumped off the map. What am I doing? Right. That was <laughs> that was a visual representation of Hordor's joke falling flat. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so I know you have to go in like ten minutes. So I don't know. Roundabout. Right uh, uh, I could stretch it to about. Maybe 10 after. I mean, I, I talked the last time I was on the show, which, by the way, thank you guys so much for allowing me to be back on the show. Because this show is a lot of fun and should get a lot more a lot more press. And uh, because you guys talk about like a lot of like dope stuff, like more than just like new games and stuff, but more along the lines of. Uh, uh, Yo, Miles, thank you for the host. Um, I know that name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually like real topics for streaming on Twitch and being a viewer on Twitch and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and that's also really cool because last time I was on the show, we talked about charity for a good chunk yeah. of the time and, and how to be a charity streamer and stuff. And that was a lot of fun, too. Uh, you guys should go check out all of these all of these awesome charities. Uh, Vox and I both stream for Extra Life yep. along with with other charities. So that's always, always fun, too. It's Max true. is already my partner. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. partner in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Max is just everybody's partner though y'all are about to get so much chocolate sent to all of <laughs> I bought a shit ton on the 15th Yo, it was off like 50% off sales great beautiful So, damn we're about to have a throw down in chat over you Max <laughs> oh no carry on peasants I want to see where this goes bring forth Springer <laughs> Shoot, I'm fat. I'm fat. There's enough to go around. No, it's split me between like four people. It's all good. Uh, the bed's big enough for everybody. <laughs> I do have quite a large bed. So, <laughs> so do I. Uh, it's beautiful. So the next topic here is uh, how large is your bed and why is it that large? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here God. I thought we were going to talk about engineering. Oh, I'm super down to talk about engineering too. Talk about how you engineered a big bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I built it myself. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we, we touched on the engineering last time a little bit. Mm hmm. Just in like are... general of what I'm working on. <clears throat> yeah. Because you are a teacher, last yes. I knew. Mm hmm. Still am, unfortunately. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's how my mom felt about it when she was teaching too. I, I mean, I I enjoy I enjoy the opportunity to impart knowledge on other people. I think that is really really fun because uh, I think most of the problems with communication and networking and stuff like that stem from ignorance. And so, yeah. the biggest way to combat ignorance is through education and knowledge. And um, so that's that's what's fun about teaching in college for me is that there are a lot of um, people that, you know, a lot of students that want to learn the material and it's always great as opposed to the other half of the students that are just entitled, uh, you know, trying bit. to figure out what I can and can't say out loud. <laughs> so <Yeah>. the, um, <laughs> and, you know, that that part is a lot of fun. And it's, it's also fun, like, when you get those students that are extremely you know, like live this entitled mentality of they deserve a certain grade and so forth. And then they end up changing by the end of the year. That is imparting knowledge that I'm talking about from ignorance. Yeah. And uh, I find like that's very, very interesting. But the state of, uh, see, this is another thing I could ran on Vox. Yo, what grinds yes. Max's gears is going to become a segment. Here we go. Point, Let's holy do crap. It. I, the, uh, I, I love engineering. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am a, I'm a mechanical engineer. Um, I am a certified mechanical engineer. Um, I did my undergrad in mechanical engineering and mathematics and got degrees there. And I have my master's degree in mechanical engineering. And I'm very, very close to defending my dissertation and being done with all of that. And uh, that'll be Yay. fantastic. <laughs> and uh, one of the, the things that I, I love about engineering is engineering is exactly what you think it is. It is problem solving at its, at, like, at its core. And... Nice. Um, you know, regardless of what engineering you are, I know nowadays in job markets and so forth is um, all about uh, computer science, electrical engineering and electrical computer mix engineering, um, which is very, very big right now. So um, 
But even civil engineers, architectural engineers, structural engineers, all of those things, like they still, at the end of the day, boil down to one thing, and that's getting a problem and figuring out a way to solve it. And I think it's actually helped me a lot in um, a lot of different things, uh, Twitch related too, because if there's a problem, you can solve, solve it. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, while the DJ revolves it. And so uh, exactly. you gotta, you know, you gotta do all those things. And um, I think one of the greatest things about being a mechanical engineer is it's a jack of all trades hmm. uh, kind of thing. So like we take classes in electrical, in computer science, in architectural and civil engineering and all of those things. And uh, uh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun. I saw a question. What can you engineer for us out of a matchstick, a piece of gum, and a rubber band? Probably a, uh, I can't remember the other word for it. Uh, battleship. I, I could definitely the design you a, battleship. There you yeah. go. I could definitely design a bridge. Yeah. Because we did matchstick bridges in undergrad. Uh, a, uh, oh man, what's, what's it called? Basically a catapult. All of those things are great. There you go. Thank you. I'm like, it's trebuchets. French. I'm like, I, I was like, I know it's a French word, and all I'm thinking is menage a trois, and that's not it. So it's got to be something else. No. So the, uh, but yeah. So it's, that it's, matchstick and piece of gum a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, but the other thing I was going to talk about in regards to, to engineering is uh, my actual study is in control systems. Uh, so it, for the, like the simplest form would be like your, uh, uh, I can't think of it again either, cruise control what? in your car or your thermostat, right? That's like the simplest control systems that are out there. Uh, and I work with, I work in robotics. So I work in trying to make sure that robot, like little swarms of robots or robot arms or anything else don't hurt people, right? So, oh, okay. um, and then changing the control systems accordingly. Uh, so you're and, like the guy on the inside preventing Terminator from happening? Yeah, my, my actual desktop <laughs> backgrounds are Skynet and Umbrella. So they're nice. Right. So they're, <laughs> <laughs> Although my chat continues to say that I work for DARPA, which is not true. So when you're playing Resident Evil, is it research? Can you get paid from your work to do this? <laughs> I, have to, I have to talk to the Umbrella executives. So. Did you design a little robot arm in the lab and remake two Max? <laughs> oh, Sad Robot? Oh, Sad Robot's my favorite robot. Oh. We had one like that when I was in middle school. I took an engineering class in middle school. Oh, there's a little sad robot? Oh, dude, yeah, sad. it was just a little sad robot arm that would pick things up. Yeah, it was I, one of those I, programmable I, ones. Like engineering well, and like the work, the work that we do on campus and stuff. I would love to talk about all day, all day. Like I can't talk about some of the stuff because of the, depending on the research project because of the NDAs, because we do right. work for the government, um, we do work for the military in some regard, and uh, different, uh, different other organizations that, that have you sign all of those things, which are annoying, uh, and then you can't tell anyone. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been a very, very long ride. I'm very tired. So <laughs> a, a lot of the time from, from working on that stuff and teaching. Uh, and... Speaking of engineering, here's this fucking ad. <laughs> oh, yo, have you guys bought yourself a Honda today? Is this a Honda? <laughs> I think this is a Pennzoil commercial. Damn, oh, no, that crazy, was a Honda dude. logo on the... Uh... Oh. Oh, oh yeah! If you guys, all right, Twitch. If y'all haven't caught yourself a UTI today, you can over at UTI. <laughs> Man, it's been like five ads in less than an hour. <laughs> you can pay for your UTI this time instead of just getting it from a hooker. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> pay a thousand and, uh, times the price. Have less. I fun. guess. I guess the other thing that I was gonna the say was that again, I find education to be very important. So if any of you guys and gals in chat are thinking about going back to school for any particular reason, I would highly suggest it. However, I would highly suggest you do the research in advance um, yes. in terms of figuring out what school to go to. If you go to a school based on the uh, U.S. News and World Report, bad idea. Those rankings are made by people who have business degrees. Not saying that people that have business degrees are bad, but what I'm saying is like people that have business degrees should not be should not be rating the state of education. Right. It should be educators or people that, that have education degrees. And that would be uh, like someone from I don't know, like a math institute trying to grade someone in a musical institute. While they're similar, it's like you probably shouldn't. Oh yeah, they didn't do so well in the math department. Oh well you don't say. 
So, um, <laughs> you know, the, so uh, I actually, if I had the choice, I would have chosen a different college to go to. If I'm being perfectly honest, because I think the education system um, at the college that I currently go to uh, or the university is, for for lack of a better word, piss poor. Like, it's really bad. Okay. I feel sorry for the undergrads that have to go through it. And I feel sorry for the grad students uh, that have to work in that environment because it's it's not what it's cracked up to be. So right. uh, the state of education in general is, is pretty poor. So in that regard, again, love talking about education, love talking about engineering, love talking about the state of autonomous cars, because everyone always wants to talk about that or AI. Uh, yeah. But education is something that I can rant on all day, for sure, 100%. Be and then on the topic of, of AI and autonomous cars, since, since uh, no one's asked Since you brought it up. Intern. Yeah, since I brought it up. Oh, look at that. The, wow, uh, that pro play in Mario, though. Oh, yeah, right into the lava, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was told the cape makes you fireproof. I was lied to. Um, yeah, you were lied to. Uh, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of companies and a lot of stuff that are making amazing strides in engineering, robotics-wise, AI, autonomous cars, etc. Mm. But for anyone that believes that we're going to have this stuff within the next couple of years, do not let these companies lie to you because that is delusion at the biggest level. Like we are oh. nowhere close to being able to do stuff like that. I would say at least another decade, probably, if I had to take a, a good guess, because you know, you're talking about people making basic programs, I could definitely see, but the human element right. slows down the process. By yeah. always. Yeah. There's two there's <laughs> two there's too many variables. There's too many. Like, you know, the trying to model the human brain and the fact that I'm about to to say the word flibberty jibbles like I did earlier, like that alone, <laughs> that process, that process has like hundreds of variables right. so like so many signals being sent and uh you know i i, f I find it interesting that um you know people like uh, musk and um you know other other heads of companies out there are like yeah we're really close no you're not <laughs> no, no, well you're maybe not. in the grand scheme of humanity and invention we're really close if it's only going to be another decade but i mean <laughs> That is very, very, yeah, I guess. It, I guess it depends on the time scale. But I don't see... Degree too? Elon? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I would imagine so. That was the true words. So, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. It's okay. I still love you. <laughs> well, so if Elon Musk wants to come on stream and have a discussion with me, I'm always, I'm always free. So. <laughs> that would be cool. I wonder how much he'd pay us to let us have him on the show. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously offer him weed he'll show up <laughs> you know uh, offer to bring his car back from space and maybe he'll uh or whatever it was is it coming back with the chimp involved <laughs> no, did it pick out did it pick up a chimp on the way <laughs> that was that one they sent to space before no from oh that monkey is dead oh yeah he's he's super uh, dead. he's very very dead he's but, way dead it was like what, 40 years ago? So much advanced civilization that we've yet to discover. <laughs> the... Yeah, what's up, Kai Show? <laughs> probably. Oh, man. Oh. But yeah, I don't know if you, you like anyone in chat has any questions about the stuff we yeah. talked about or if you guys have any questions. I, my, so... my, my question is <laughs> I, I want to know what Beta is thinking about right now. Because man, he looks he's super immersed. Super intense right now. You know, he's also doing the thing, same thing I'm doing, kind of like stroking, stroking where the beard would be. Or right now he's poking, <laughs> in, he's booping his own snoot. But you know, I'm just <laughs> reading chat. he's reading in <laughs> chat. <clears throat> mm. Yo, what are you doing? I, I really right enjoy now? like talking about tech and stuff. So I'm enjoying this conversation. Oh <laughs> yes, tech is so good. I actually uh, wanted to be a. Uh, Engineer also, but then that went out oh, nice. because I didn't really enjoy school. <laughs> but you still work with, I mean, like, as as far as, as I'm concerned with the stuff you do with music and everything else, you, you, for all intents and purposes, are an audio engineer. Yeah, I'm an audio engineer and I do video editing for marketing. Yeah. It's <clears> audio <throat> and video engineer. But, like, I want to build computers and 
work on processing and all that stuff. Oh, I got you. It was so, like yeah. super expensive because I was paying for, for all my own stuff and I had to get financial aid and all that. And then it got to the point oh, where I just couldn't so expensive. afford any of it anymore. So I was like, well, mm -hmm. I'm just going to work full time at this like place. And then I just worked myself to where I am now just on my own. Hey, that's that is impressive. So, yeah, because yeah. Uh, the I, again, like monetarily, financially, education is really expensive. Yep. So especially like the but, type uh, you want to do, I guess just more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, how would I implement AI cars? I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> If I if I uh, if I were to to have to answer that, I, I mean, I would the quality assurance and um, dude, I can't dodge a bullet bill to save my life, and um, testing that would need to go in, in, into it. Like the safety factor for me would have to be huge. Yeah, uh, and that would involve a lot of testing. I mean, you see people like I believe the video on YouTube of the Volvo guy at the car dealership that had a had like an automatic braking car and was testing it. And decided to test it on himself, dumbass. Um, mm, God. Ends up getting run over by the Volvo. Like you know, that's the kind of thing that uh, you know would have to be. You would have to need. What's my favorite color? Blue. Uh, you would have to need <laughs> enough sensors. Not only, not only on. You need land detection sensors on the side. You would need sensors in the front and back that are basically laser, laser trajectory finders, and be able to program in what the optimal car length is what kind of blue dark blue um the optimal car length is between the car in front of you and your front bumper the car behind you your rear bumper the cars on the side of you if you're going to implement ai cars all of them would have to be ai cars i yeah, think that's no... the that's the biggest the biggest thing right there is that that's going to be a thing all of them have to be like that because if they're not and you still have a human with well, the singular human that's driving amongst the AI cars, everyone's dead. <laughs> like, yeah, like just, just hearing you describe all of that, I'm already going to just up my money down now. AI cars, not happening. We're all not just going to have a giant monorail. That's all we're going to get. It's going to be Disneyland everywhere. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I think... Uh, I mean, if I had to implement it, though, that's the way it would have to be. Like, there's, there's, in my opinion, there's no really other way. Let's see. My question is, why don't you let humans take the mass of L they crave and increase the quantities of souls? You know, demon, no one's, no one's going to make any deals with you. Okay? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I said that earlier, all cars have to be AI. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> oh, demon's got a question for you. Uh, knowing what you know about speedrunning or streaming, would you approach something differently? Uh, speedrunning wise, probably not. Well, except maybe not join certain games that I thought were going to be good, <laughs> like Outlast 2. Horrible garbage. Um, <laughs> but uh, and maybe like do some other ones. But I think honestly, what I knowing what I know now, I think I would have uh, you know put myself out there more in the beginning without being obnoxious about it and being able to network a little bit better th the way that I network now, as opposed to, you know, when I first started also guys, yo, UTI again. Oh God. Holy so, shit. you know, Ooh. you guys should, you should check it out. Oh. And the, um, <laughs> graduate in less than a year. Look at that. Uh, they're over here pumping out AI cars. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> As far as speedrunning goes, I probably wouldn't change anything. I enjoy the games that I... The one thing that I like about streaming and speedrunning in general is it's fun. It's meant to be a hobby for me. It's meant to be fun for me. And at the end of the day, I should be, you know... I, I speedrun what many people have called horrible games. I mean, I speedrun RE Survivor. I speedrun, you know, a lot of those games. But I enjoy them. And I wouldn't change anything about that. I wouldn't change the games that I speedrun now or, uh, or any of those other things. As far as streaming goes, um, streaming is uh, fluid. <coughs> it is constantly changing. Streaming is basically water. And uh, trying to uh, hindsight's 2020. So if I would have seen the popularity of certain things now as opposed to what they were before, I don't think I would change anything that I'm playing, but I would probably change the style of 
bad games of stream runners the most <laughs> <laughs> so like you know making better uh you know networking with with artists networking with video editors becoming better at video editing and animation and stuff that people want to see um in addition to being you know a personable streamer I, I would probably change that knowing what i know now uh, i still wouldn't stream brs all the time just because i'm not good at them and i'm not a huge fan of the genre but uh, i enjoy watching it i don't enjoy playing it and so you know i wouldn't change any of that stuff and uh yeah, I don't know. I, th I I think knowing what I know now, I probably still would approach the entire idea of community building and uh, charity streaming and everything else the exact same way. So, uh, do you think that Twitch is enough to get noticed, or do you have to make content other places also? I I solely work on Twitch. So I, I have a YouTube channel. I hardly ever post to it. <laughs> the only time I ever post to it is when I need to put up runs for a GDQ. Hmm. And I need to get a video right. uploaded. Because when I'm on my stream, I'm sitting there swearing up a storm. Right? You're not mm -hmm. allowed to swear at GDQ. So I mm -hmm. record offline and upload GDQ runs to YouTube uh, instead. And that's it. Uh, Instagram, don't really do much. Twitter, I find Twitter to be insanely dramatic and it's annoying. So I, uh, I, I, the only things I ever post on Twitter are either positivity things or when my stream goes live. <laughs> That's it. Like, I I, <laughs> so, yeah. like, again, we were talking a little bit earlier how Twitter has become amongst both partner streamers and affiliate streamers. My entire feed is either filled with cute cat pictures, which is awesome, or it's filled with people that are giving unwarranted advice that no one asked for <laughs> or complaining. <laughs> Like, it sounds like I don't Twitter. I don't scroll through my Twitter feed to see like the way that you get more viewers is by doing this this and this and it's like well that doesn't work for everyone and no one asked you for your advice so <laughs> why yeah. so, I think it's the people that are like oh just drop your link I'm looking for some new streamers to support oh, that's, the oh. worst, dude. that's like get the fuck out of here you're not gonna check anybody out lurk for lurk follow for follow but it works. <laughs> It, it works. I think my favorite one so far, they're getting innovative when they say, drop a link and I'll donate this much to them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's just a bunch of people so. dropping links in there, just boosting that dude's Twitter. Yeah, but I, I think you can I think you can do it on Twitch and I think you can be successful. Do I think you can be as successful as like a lot of the old guard that are very successful right now, like Dr. Disrespect or Ninja or any of those guys? That takes a lot of work. A lot. And the thing is, like, being on Twitch is not as easy as just pushing the start button. There's a lot of behind the scenes things that really involves a lot of work in the background. And you got to be willing to do that. If you're not willing to do that, and you're not willing to lose sleep sometimes for the work, then it's going to be very, very hard and take a long time to be yeah. successful. But I think you can obviously be successful by just by just doing Twitch if you wanted to. Or even Mixer, YouTube, any of those things. Pepe hands, so. Mixer. <laughs> I mean, I actually, wa I actually watch people on Mixer, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I have some people in my community that stream on uh, Mixer that left Twitch yeah. and went to Mixer, and it's, I mean, it's so cool. So, it's a thing. Yep. All right, boys and girls. Vox has our to time, go to work. Feels bad, man. Our time is is, well, our time's up, but. Be sure to follow Max over on his channel so you can get some more of this good ass talking like what we did today, except by himself without us. So it'll be a with a lot more swearing with a lot more <laughs> swearing. So and ranting, of course. But yeah, if anyone has any extra questions later for, for anyone, uh, you can always hit me up in whispers or discord or anything like that. I am more than happy to, to help out. Can I be your friend? Done. Already done. <laughs> See, you've already entered. You already went through the door and decided to come and talk to me. So we are already we are already friends. <laughs> Don't ruin it, though. Don't ruin, <laughs> <Some of them. laughs> Don't ruin it. But we would like to thank you guys for joining us here in the secret levels again. Mr. Max, thank you for joining us. Good oh, man. Thank you for the, thank the invite. For sure. I really appreciate it. 
We'll have and to thanks for putting on the quality time. content. Everyone in chat should thank uh, Ian and Vox and Tony and Beta for putting on the amazing podcast, getting a bunch of different different casters. I mean, they've gotten some really awesome people on the you know the stream. Obviously, again, Silent uh, Witch Abomination. Silent. 